Hi investors and welcome to another 180 Markets Weekly Wrap. And today friends, we are going to talk about new beginnings. But before we get to that, you know the drill, like, subscribe to our channel, 180markets.com.au, sign up, it's completely free, and I promise you will get content and a delivery method you will not find anywhere else on the internet. Now, what was I saying about new beginnings? Well, today, and thankfully, is the last day of the financial year here in Australia. And certainly, it is ending with a thud. Many share prices that were down circa 60 days ago are down further right now, and that is because of tax loss selling this time of year. It is very seasonal, and it has certainly affected markets, especially on smaller companies. But that brings us to the new beginning. And as I mentioned, it is going to be a fresh start next week. And with prices down a lot, it certainly makes a lot of sense to do homework on your favorite names. Now, in the meantime, we have a big event coming on in a couple of hours. That is the presidential debates. And with the markets being so slow, it's a great time to have some fun, have some entertainment and watch a wrestling match. And now, as always, I'll turn it over to Sean with what went on in capital markets on this very slow week. Thanks, Greg. The last day of the financial year is here and it couldn't come soon enough. Um, it has been pretty tough the last few weeks. Uh, there's been a lot of selling and a dry up in liquidity. But um, yeah, July is next week and um, hopefully things turn around. Yeah, pretty slow on the markets, not a lot of placements, not a lot of movers. Niobium is one thing that's getting the market excited. We'll take a look at that in the weekly wrap. So the week actually started last Friday when Delarue entered a trading halt. The capital raise was for 2.65 million after some well-known guys joined the board. Let's look at their names. Joshua Gordon and Bill Ahmed. Joshua Gordon, I'm sure I've heard of that name before. Good luck, Josh. Hopefully you can turn Delarue around. They raised money at 1.6. And um, yeah, let's see where Delarue goes to from here. Um, another raise was BYH. Um, we did help them out on the weekend with this one. So Briar has been... A pretty disappointing company if we look at the chart. Um, let's go back in time and look at five years. Uh, they were trading as high as eight cents in the good old days in the um, start of 2021. Um, but since they've fallen like a lot of other juniors and are struggling, so they did end up raising about $400,000 a 0.6. There was a free one for three option there for investors. MTH, um, they just returned to the boards, but they did raise more money this week at 20 cents a share. Uh, a big cornerstone investor supported a chunk of that. Um, so Jupiter Gold and Silver Fund invested at a 29% premium to where they were trading before. So Jupiter will hold 10% of Mithril. And um, yeah, this one's Hasn't performed too well since listing, but it's still way above the cap recap price of ten cents a share. Um, so a lot of people like this stock, um, and we'll see where it goes to from here. Um, now, as we said, Niobium is getting pretty hot, and um, Tracker has taken advantage of that hotness. Um, so they have just done a capital raise for an acquisition of a Niobium project. Um, so it was a very small placement. Um, it was done at the same price as the previous placement. Um, so another one where that guy, Josh, is on the board and um, hopefully he can um, turn this one into a big Niobium success story. Uh, finally, let's take a look at Marmota, M-E-U. They raised money this week, a small raise for them, $1.2 million um, to key investors, um, 4.5 cents, so identical to where it's been trading. Um, I don't think this will fully fund them, but it'll get them through until the next round. Our movers this week, an old favorite of mine, Actinogen, um, Amazing, five cents. 
it went up this week after they announced that their positive um, biomarker for the Xenomen project has been published in the Journal of Alzheimer's Disease, demonstrating potential. So um, great to see actinogen progressing. Um, they recently raised money at two and a half cents. I wasn't offered any, unfortunately. Um, still got options there, but um, yeah, this one runs very easily and um, goes up and down a lot. So um, yeah, good luck to Tinajin. Please offer us the next round. The next runner this week was Bella Vista BVR. Um, they actually just raised money at 15 cents a share. So anyone that took that capital raise would be pretty happy. Uh, the funds will be used for due diligence on some advanced projects and they've got some help from um, some people that the market really respects. So um, obviously that's why it's run. VN8, they got a takeover offer this week at 3.75 cents a share, trading at slightly under that. But um, yeah, they um, were trading at about 1.8 cents before the acquisition was announced and um yeah that's um being done by maxo telecommunications and um yeah shareholders of v8 phonics would be pretty happy this week um shares are trading at a new high for the last year and um you don't see that a lot in this current environment m4m mr tolga kamova's stock new stock um started going up again this week Trading at three point eight cents, no real news, but um, Tolga's power was unbelievable for this one. He first entered at I think point two, bought some more mark on the market at point four. Um, so if you follow the wrap, you would have seen this a couple of months ago. It did hit um mid to high fours. Uh, finally, let's take a look at ENR. So another Niobium stock. Um, they announced some um, pretty good high grade niobium intercepts um i'm not going to mention what they were because i actually just don't understand um all that all i know is it's hot at the moment and um companies are taking advantage of it that's a wrap hope you enjoyed it hope you had a great financial year um it was pretty tough overall but there was still quite a few highlights let's hope for more highlights next year have a great weekend everyone